Dang it. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Good old boy, GLB Tactical. Uh, if you like that little skit at the beginning, definitely look me up on Instagram. I'll be posting stuff like that all the time. It's uh, GLB Tactical on Instagram. So today we're going to be looking at the uh, AR500 QD IFAC system. I uh, just picked this up. Uh, QD, quick detach, IFAC, individual first aid kit. So, if you get on AR500's website, they got two of these. So they got this one, and then they have another one that's a uh, zipper pouch setup. And I went back and forth on this one, and then the zipper pouch one. And I was going to get the zipper pouch one. This is their newest one that they just came out with. Because like, I watched the... Looked like This just looks really thick on their website. And it just didn't look as sleek, and I didn't really think the Velcro was going to hold up as well, which you'll see what I'm talking about, which it does hold up very well. Um, but I ended up doing this one, and I'll tell you at the end of the video why, and it'll make sense to you. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So this is how it came. Um, I ended up having to order this as an extra. Uh, it came with like a SWAT style tourniquet. Um, I went ahead and got the, the cap. Uh, this is the, I do believe this is the Gen 7. I think this is the newest one out. So I went ahead and picked this one up. It was extra 30 bucks. Um, it also came with this patch. I'm guessing you can, they were both on here whenever I got it. Uh, I went with this one and it's a little more incognito. So that's what I had when I got that one and still to the point. So right out the gate, you can see it's, uh, Molly system. So you can hook this to your plate carriers. You can hook it to your backpacks or whatever you want to do. So right off the gate, the thing that I really liked about this was the QD point of it. So when it's on your plate carrier on your side, obviously you put it on your uh, non-weapon side. Um, you first would open this up and right out the gate, you got your nitro gloves, um, some waterproof medical tape right here. Oh, if I can get it up there. Yeah, right there. Uh, and that's like your first, you know, whatever, getting geared up, whatever. And then your next setup, you grab a hold of this pull strap right here, which it'll still do it even with this close. And why it's on your side, you can just rip down on that. And I added the, a marker to it so that doesn't come with it. But this is, and then you got like a little tri-fold setup right here. Uh... You got some flat compression, uh, flat compressed gauze, some more um, compression bandage. You got some quick clot from Celix. Um, you got some Fox chest seal, which these are pretty nice. I've seen some things on these. And there's two in this pack as well because you're going to need two of them. And then you got this H&H &H, uh, Thin H bandage, which is another compression uh, combat dressing. It's real nice. It has Velcro it out for you so you can see it has instructions on the back as well so you can velcro it tight to keep the compression on which i thought was really cool um but also if it's on your side and you need to get some more stuff you just give it another yank and if you want to take it off you can lay it out um and go through all your stuff like this so let's fold this back up i'll show you Also, you got your trauma shears right here, and they are on a um, Velcro thing right here, so they're really easy to pull out. You just pull up on them. They, out, they cut through anything. They do the thing. So those are pretty cool. I don't know if I got those set back in there right. But this is why, this, is, this was the 
decision maker for me on whether I got this one or the quick detach. So we all know how well Molly is when you put it on something that's Molly compatible. You weave it in there and once you get it in, you're not trying to take it back off. It's not that much fun to unweave this. So these things are not like, I mean, for what they do, it's cheap. But pri but realistically, like the price wise, I think this was um, with the cat, it was like 145. So, I mean, for what it does, like I said, it's cheap, but it's not cheap enough to where I can just buy a bunch of these and throw one on my plate carry, throw one in the range bag, throw one in my truck. I can't, I can't afford a bunch of these. So this was the main, the main thing for me. So you got, like I said, you had this handle for like the quick detach, yada, yada, yada. But th then you got the red handle here. So the red handle, you pull the red handle, and this part stays on your plate carrier. And this part comes with you. It comes off and you could, I mean, if I guess if you got a buddy down or whatever, you can hand it off to them and they can do their thing, you can go help them, whatever. But the this is the reason why I bought this one is because I do a lot of shooting. Uh, most of the time I shoot here, uh, I go to the range a lot as well. And I don't always have my plate carry with me. I'm, I'm not always, I mean, it is fun to get up in there and uh, train with the plate carrier on, but I'm not always rocking the monkey suit. Uh, so I can't, I, I won't have this with me. And if I'm, if I don't plan on using my plate carrier at the range that, that day that I go, I don't take it with me because I mean, it's, it's heavy, dude. The thing has a bunch of crap on it. There's no need for it if I'm not even going to use it. So I won't take it. And now I don't have to take it just for the med kit. Uh, I can just rip this off, take this, throw this in my truck and we can go to the range and shoot. Uh, if you guys don't have an IFAC setup, like definitely you need to get one because everybody thinks like, oh, well, I'm not going to get hurt. You don't know if you're going to get hurt. There's other people at the range. Your, your buddy could do an accidental discharge, um, hit you in the leg or hit you in the chest or something like that. And unless somebody has something right there, there's a good chance that you might not make it. This helps that chance of you making it a lot better. So I definitely highly advise uh, getting into one of these. Um, is AR500 the best one out there? I don't know. But there's lots of kits. I looked at tons of other ones. The AR500 one for me uh, just seemed like it, it was it was in my price range. And it just it's a good company. I have an order from AR500 multiple times. Uh, I'm not trying to promote their product. But at the same time, I'm going to give them a thumbs up. Because everything I've ever ordered from them was on time, to my door, exactly what I ordered, and exceeded my expectations every time. Like this, I was so excited to see this because I was going, worried that it wasn't going to be exactly what I wanted. I don't even know why I worried because they always exceed my expectations. And they definitely did on this one this time for sure. So, like I said, there's other companies out there. You don't have to go with AR500, but I definitely would recommend them. They're an awesome company awesome product uh also so i'll give you another little heads up if you end up going with the ar500 um ifac setup their uh, website right now says current wait times of i think it says like 10 to 12 weeks um i ordered this on a thursday and today is monday and i already received it so i don't know what that wait time if that's old or what but if you end up getting on there and you want to order one don't get discouraged because it came quick. But yeah, putting it back together, you just put it back on there. Button that up, fold these over. And there you go. Like I said, you got this one for your first line. The red cord is the taker all the way down. So yeah, that's it for this. Definitely get one, everyone needs one of these. Also, uh, for the next video, I just want you guys to be a heads up. I went ahead and got one of these uh, Olight Valkyries. So we'll be doing a review on that on the next video. I'm just running it through the ropes right now, doing some more tests on it. I want to make sure I can get an honest opinion on it. Um, I also got their pressure pad switch for it. So we'll see how that goes. So stay tuned. All right. So here it is on the plate carrier. You can see it takes up minimal room. 
It's nice and thin. Yeah, I like it. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description so you guys can check this out on AR500's website. Um, also, if you didn't check out my last video on the uh, Hollow Sun products, I'll put a link for that right about ya. And uh, like always, like, comment, subscribe. I got some more videos to come out. Peace.